How about simplifying logarithms? All right, so let's see. We got log base 6 of the cube root of 36. We're asked to simplify this. So I'm looking at this cube root of 36. And you know, if I express that as a rational exponent, because 36 is 6 squared, right? And you may remember from our work with exponents, I could actually write that cube root of 36 as 6 raised to the power of two-thirds as a rational exponent. So then that would give me log 6 of 6 to the, well, it should be a 2, two-thirds power. Well, at that point, the log 6 and the 6 are going to cancel, and I'm just left with two-thirds, and shazam, I have simplified that logarithm. Now, i got a little bit more to do, but not a whole lot more with this uh, second one, the natural log of uh, the natural base E raised to the ninth power plus four times the natural log of the natural base E raised to the third power. Well, let's see. Before I cancel out the LNs and the E, let me move this exponent out front using the power property. So then I've got LN E to the ninth plus four times three LN E. Well, I could move that 9 out, too. Maybe I should. Let me do that. Probably should. So I could write this as 9 ln e. Now here, my ln e's are going to cancel. So then I'm left with 9 plus 4 times 3. What's 4 times 3? 12. And what's 9 plus 12? 21. Shazam! Simplifying logarithms. I converted the radical to a rational exponent, then canceled out the log 6 and the 6. on the first one. It just left me with 2 thirds. I used the power property on the second one, moving the 9 out front. So I got 9 ln e. That cancels, leaving me with just 9 plus 4 times 3 ln e, the ln e cancels. Now I just got 4 times 3, 9 plus 12 is 21. And there we go. We have simplified those two logarithms. I wish they were all that easy. They're probably not, though, I got a feeling. But those weren't bad.